Hey there, how's it going, Annie? Alright, I guess. How you doing? My name's Dr. Reese. How you doing today? You okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to be here either. I know it's an office. Nobody likes these kind of places, right? So why do you yeah. think you're here today? I don't know. Okay. Really? Uh, before you got here, what what did you see before you came to me? Do you remember? I guess I'm kind of doctor. Okay. You took a test, right? You remember this test? Yeah. Was it short? No. It was a pretty long test, yeah, right? It was All right. boring. So just to let you know, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit. So I'm Dr. Reese. I actually, a little bit about myself. I studied biology at the University of Texas in Brownsville. I don't know mm -hmm. if you're familiar with that area. Yeah. You know, where are you from again? I'm from California, but I guess I like it here. Okay. It's, the mosquitoes. it's a little different, mm -hmm. right? But the humidity is still somewhat similar. Yeah, look That's at my hair. It sucks. I don't <laughs> like it. Your hair is really nice, actually. But look, check this out. So what we're going to do here... Just to let you know is that we want to make goals with you okay we're very concerned about your health as you're well aware of and we want to help you and guide you to improve your health by looking healthy and by feeling happy right which is the ultimate goal here so we don't we're, i don't want to force you to do anything you don't want to do so if at any moment you feel pressure to do something let me know and say no i do not want to do that or just we're going to go ahead and just to let you know everything's going to be for your own benefit, okay? So just keep that in mind. Also, something very important to know is that your parents are very concerned about you. They love you and they want you to be happy and they want you to be healthy more than anything, okay? So that's also something very important to, to remember. Also, just going over some of these exams. So actually the exam that you took was called the Eating Disorder Examination Questionnaire. It's actually a very hands-on, it's very popular among the the disorders field for eating disorders and this actually helps us figure out what type of disorder this this person may have and according to this questionnaire there was a rating of five out of six on your exam meaning that it was pretty high and it displays a lot of signs of an eating disorder that's present and more than likely anorexia is actually one of the ones that stood out to, to us the most okay so yes, it's something very to be very concerned about. Just let me go ahead and let you know that anorexia does not define who you are. You're, you're you, you're Annie, and this is who you are, but there are certain things that we have to take control of before it gets out of hand, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and explain a little bit about the exam. So you were measured the restraint, it measures also the eating concerns, and it measures the shape concerns and weight concerns that you're concerned about okay so all these exams prove that you rated five out of six and we're trying to to get to the bottom of that okay and try to help you out with that so another thing also was that something surprising that stood out was your body mass index which is known as BMI I don't know if have you ever heard of this before I might I might have heard it once or twice okay what, are you, what are you familiar with how is it that you that you see it as where well, it just calculates how much fat you have according to your there. height and your age, maybe. Exactly. See, you should be sitting on this side of that. You're, you're doing pretty <laughs> good. That's awesome. So check it out. So BMI is actually, like you mentioned, body mass index. It does calculate the, the density that you have, including your with your weight related to your height, right? And your age as well. So we notice, of course, you're 17 years old, 5'5", five, five, and you actually weigh 80 pounds which is on this scale very extremely fat no very extremely underweight so we understand the the perception you may have of yourself and because this is actually something that comes along with this disorder okay but we want to make you understand that you're not fat and we actually don't want to make you fat as well we want to get you to a normal weight that's our ideal goal here okay we don't want to get you fat we just want you to be at a normal weight but at this point you are extremely underweight so we want to make sure that you're out of this level here okay and your score was actually a 15 and like I said it's extremely underweight so just I do want to get to know you I feel like I've kind of mentioned a little bit about myself but I do want to ask you certain questions just to get to know you is that okay, yeah, okay. Sure. do you have any pets I have a dog okay what's his name or is she it's a Coda Coda mm -hmm. oh that's a cute name for a dog so 
How long have you had Coda for? For about a year and a half. Oh, that's nice. Quite some time with it. How does she make you feel? It's good. I feel like I can talk to her and that's not be judged. Good. That's good. It's always good to have a pet with you, right? Okay. And also, this is going to sound funny, but it's actually, I still like these. What's your favorite cereal? Mm, I guess Lucky Charms. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Mine are Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I still love them. They're really good. Why do you like Lucky Charms? Marshmallows? Yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> but I only eat like three out of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about, what's your favorite food though? Um, I guess you could say pizza. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Pizza's very good, huh? Yeah. It's actually very it good. Yeah, what was the last time you had pizza? I can't even remember. Or like I'll buy the pizza and then like I'll take like the cheese off and then just or like pick at it. So it's been a while since I've eaten. Did like you have a full slice? Yeah. Okay. Why? Why do you think you stop if you really? Enjoy because I need it? to take care of my shape. I need to be skinny. So you think pizza is very fattening then? Very. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's some truth to that, but not exactly entirely. Okay. I will go ahead and mention a little bit about that. Pizza is actually a very it's a very healthy if it, we eat it at a moderate amount, at a moderate amount, okay? So just to note that. So what is your favorite thing to do? So I know you do cheerleading, right? Um, what is another thing that you like to do? I um, like to play soccer. Okay, that's, that's awesome. Fun. So yeah. you're very active then. Yeah. So see, since you're very active, you require a lot of energy, right? So how do you feel throughout the day? Do you feel like you have a lot of energy? Um, I am also a cheerleader at school, so I feel like playing soccer, cheerleading, um, it sometimes feels like I'm very exhausted, like very sleepy, but I still pull through. So you're pulling through through, okay, through the day. So it's yeah. not like, oh, well, um, I have a lot of energy and I can do a lot more. Not that type of energy? You're just kind of making it through mm -hmm. the day? Okay, mm -hmm. so I see. Yeah. Now, see, that's actually a really good that you mentioned that because a lot of this is due to signs of uh, malnutrition, right? You need a lot of energy, right? So since you're active, you're a cheerleader, you're playing soccer, you're playing sports, so your body actually requires a little more energy. So let's go ahead and uh, briefly go over some of the things that we need to talk about here. So as we established, we have to have a balanced meal, right? We have to have uh, three main meals throughout the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do you usually consume all these three a day? No, I skip breakfast. Okay. Um, I'll definitely skip dinner because I don't want to sleep on a full stomach because I'll gain weight. So I'll eat like maybe like an apple during lunch and maybe like some of those like salt crackers. Okay. Like one. Just and one. that's, yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's also very important. I You mentioned that you skip breakfast, right? That you don't really eat too much of it. Now, yeah. something very important is that breakfast is actually one of the most important meals of the day. You're waking up from a fasted state, so you actually want to have energy throughout the day. So just imagine going without waking up and not having any food. You're going to feel very weak, or at least your body will. So even though you may want to do a lot of things, your body is actually requiring that energy, which is which comes from food, right? So you want to have a good balanced breakfast, at least, right? And then a lunch, and then of course your dinner, right? So also one thing I, I would like to, to mention and ask you, this is just remember everything we share here is confidential. Nothing gets out of this room. And right. No, seriously, uh, everything, I mean, I will talk to your parents, of course, not about what happens in here between us two, but about some of the concerns that I have as a, as a doctor, and I want to try to help them out and guide, guide you and them to help you as well. So this is, that's the main purpose. So I do want to ask you something, though. Uh, do you take any over-the-counter medications? No. You can be completely honest with me. Like I said, I won't, I won't say, I won't judge you. I won't tell your parents if you're afraid for me to tell them it's okay. Are you getting them from somewhere or from someone or anything like that? Or what do you what? It's okay, mm. you can tell me. I guess I'm taking water pills. Okay. And you know what? Those are actually very common. Uh, why, are you, why are you taking them though, may I ask? Because I don't want to be fat. Okay. And water pills are actually, it's actually, they can harm you a lot as well. You know, if you don't take them with uh, 
especially with meals, you know, you're, you can be extremely fatigued as well. And they actually, they actually do that to your body. So you actually want to consume them with food if, if you are going to take them out. But first of all, you, sh you should, especially at this state. It can actually harm you and it can actually kill you. So you, re you really want to be careful with the type of things that you're, you're supplementing with, okay? So can you promise me something for your own health? Can you, can you stop taking these supplements? Try. Okay. Don't promise anything, but. Okay, I appreciate your honesty. Now, let me go ahead and ask you something. So, what is one of the most important things to you? What do you wish to accomplish, let's say, down the road after you graduate? I want to be a nurse. That's what I would want to be in the future. That's a very nice career path. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to be a nurse? Well, because I want to help others. I want to help them get better, feel better, be healthy. Okay, you know what? That's an extra excellent answer and that's actually the same reason why i'm here with you today because i want to help others as but well. i'm not sick okay that's the thing so i understand that you feel that you're not sick like i mentioned earlier anorexic nervosa is actually a very delicate eating disorder a lot of people who have this disorder aren't able to perceive themselves as the way they are in reality so don't worry we're going to have some sessions and we're going to briefly talk about this and you're going to find out how you actually look like in regards to the difference, the way you see yourself in, in the mirror, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna point out to you, and you're gonna, you're gonna be surprised of what you'll, you'll see, okay? But I want you to do something. I'm gonna go ahead and get a journal here that I have for you. All right. So I want you to take this. And you're going to actually write homework. three. Yes, but it's going to be a fun homework, okay? It's not going to be a lot like your, like your classes that they give you. It's going to be something brief and something that will help you understand a little bit more about yourself and about this eating disorder, okay? It'll, just, it'll be brief. It won't take too much of your time, and it'll, it'll actually be for your own good. So you're going to write down the three main meals. I know you noticed, or I noticed that you actually mentioned your favorite food was pizza, right? Mm -hmm. And your breakfast was cereal, or your favorite cereal was Lucky Charms. Was Lucky Charms, so you can have that for breakfast. Okay, let's just say you're gonna have Lucky Charms for breakfast. Um, I'll talk to your parents and I'll ask them to buy you Lucky Charms that we can have them again if they don't have them. And you can have your your pizza. All right. So you're gonna have your two best foods, and I want you to at least have two slices of pizza. <laughs> Okay, I want you to try, okay? Yeah. Can you try to have at least at least one? That's half of that. That's so that shouldn't be that bad. Can you at least have one slice? For I gotta force myself to eat it. I think. Okay, this is gonna be tough, right? But you wanna you wanna be healthy, right? You wanna live longer to become a nurse? Oh yeah, I wanna help others, yeah. Exactly or right. So we wanna get there and we're gonna help you get there, but we actually need a little support from yourself as well. Okay. So we want you to contribute to this process, which is you're the you're the best uh, asset to this team, okay? So you wanna actually do it for yourself. I'm here to guide you through this process, but I'm gonna need for you to to contribute to this, okay? All right. And now we need dinner though. So what what about dinner? What's something that you might enjoy for dinner? You think? For dinner? Mm -hmm. I don't have dinner, like ever, so. Okay, well, Nothing let's. Nothing really to me. Let's think of something you like for dinner. So, we already have cereal for breakfast. With what peanut butter something? and jelly? That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect, yes. So, we can do that. All right. So, let's go ahead and give you that. And you're going to write, write it down every time you eat. You just jot down that moment and the time that you ate it. And then we'll come back the following week and then we'll go over the things that you ate and then we'll go ahead and recreate them, review that and see how you felt throughout that day. Is that okay? Does that sound good? Yeah. Yes, I'll do it. Do you have any questions for me at this time? Um, any concerns? Anything about home? Everything good? Um, yeah. Okay. Everything's fine. All right, sounds good. Well, I appreciate you being here today, Annie. I know this is hard for you at first, but believe me, uh, this is this is normal. This the way you feel right now is normal. So you're you're actually 
throughout these sessions that we go through, you will be, you will feel better and you will feel a lot happier throughout this process. I understand it's a little complicated for you because you, you don't perceive yourself as the way you, the way you think. So we want to help you change that, and you'll see in the next session. All right. Thank you for being here.